Welcome to the March edition of the Daisy Chain and it has been a sensational month here at Turak College. Earlier this month we celebrated International Women's Day and this year's theme was Choose to Challenge. We know one of the most important things about embracing challenging situations is to ensure that you have positive role models around you. And right here at Turak College, from ELC to Year 12, we have the most amazing role models and mentors within our own school community. During International Women's Day, we paired our students right across the school together. So Anna in Year 11 was working with our Year 6s, of which Belle is a part of that cohort. And I think one of the things we are most proud of is that everyone here at Turak is important to somebody else acting as positive role models to fuel where they want their futures to go and to use the collective support of one another to lift each other up so that we can help to dream about those big plans and futures ahead of us. And I have two sensational girls with me today who are not only amazing role models for their peers, but also value very much the role models in their life. Belle, I have watched this spectacular video of you meeting your role model. Tell me, who is your role model? So my role model is Caitlin Parker and she's, she's a role model and she's an inspiration to me because she's an Australian girl boxer that's qualified for the 2021 Tokyo Olympics and has won silver at the Commonwealth Games. And it is amazing. You're in a sport that's a little bit different and a little bit boutique, yeah? So when you meet somebody who has your passion, um, what did it feel like that day to meet her in person? It was, it's still unbelievable to me. It was incredible. And I got to meet her, do pads with her, shadow box with her, and ask her questions about hand, how to handle stress, how to, like some tips and tricks for training and competing. Fantastic. Now, where do you think your training's going to take you one day? I think my main goal is to get to the Com Commonwealth Games and then the Olympic Games. Belle, one of the best things for me in your short movie that you're in is that you've got these posters on your wall of your bedroom. What do the posters on the walls in your bedroom say? So, I have a quote wall and an inspirational, like, cork board. And on the cork board, there's all boxes that I've met or I want to meet and the boxes that inspire me or people that inspire me. Great. And then on my quote wall, there's heaps of quotes that get me out of bed every day and make me want to train. I love that. And do you know that you're an amazing role model to other people too? Do you know that? Yeah, because your work ethic, um, the way you embrace everything, you put your hand up for everything and you always wear that smile. And when junior school was watching your video, you should have seen their eyes. They were saying, I want to be like Belle one day. So I know you got to meet your role model, but you are also the best role model for our younger students as well. So I thank you for that too. Thank you. Now, Anna, you've had quite a different journey in looking at your futures and different inspirations for you. Yes. Tell me a little bit about this recent opportunity you've had with the Biotech Futures. Um, well, I took part in a competition that was in Sydney and we worked as a team to design a prototype for something, well, it could be anything, anything that can make a difference and make a change. And we went into a competition where we made posters and presentations to pitch this prototype and yes. And the idea behind it, because you work with girls from all other schools, yeah. yes? So this is such a lesson in collaboration and bringing together yeah. ideas. However, I see the idea that you picked is one that's actually very passionate to yes, you. Tell us yes. about it. Um, well, I decided to make a design for a biodegradable tennis ball because I'm really into tennis. It's one of my biggest passions. So. Yeah, and I just saw that we were throwing away all these tennis balls for no reason because after one set, it's like you're gone. Especially you're with the Australian Open here yeah, at the moment. Yeah, exactly. It's like, what's going on? Yeah, love mm. it. So, yeah, I thought that needed to change because there's no way currently to get rid of them and dispose of them safely. So, yeah. Anna, you have always been such a sensational role model and ambassador for our school, but I don't know who you look up to. Who's a role model for you? Um, it's definitely got to be Ash Barty. Um, you know, just seeing her her talent and how she went from cricket to tennis and then now world number one is just incredible. And the way she plays, I try to emulate that. And her, her mental her mental strength is just so incredible. So it's gotta be her. Even though it's different to what I wanna do in the future, it's she's still really important to me. I think that's great. You take all of the bits that provide inspiration anywhere 
that they may come. What is in your future, Anna? Um, hopefully, in my future, something science-y, something to do with astronomy or astrophysics. I'm really interested in that. It's been my passion for so long, like since year three, I think. So it's just, yeah. Discover a new planet for us or yes, um, time space continuum travel. Mm. There's a lot on the to do list that I yeah, think you could solve easy. for us. Does yes. that sound all right? <laughs> sounds good. Sounds Fantastic. Good. Um, Anna, we were so proud to hear of your achievements, but also um, I think that idea of working with other people and bringing these ideas mm. to life, but also acting as a really strong voice um, to bring about the change we want to see in the world, it's exactly what all of this International Women's Day is all about challenging what we know are conventions, mm. um, but also offering up solutions to what comes next. So thank you and congratulations. As we head into the end of Term 1, and yes, we are going to make it to the finish line this year, uh, we will be celebrating our Wardle House Twilight Picnic tomorrow afternoon. And we look forward to having all of you come and enjoy in the celebration. We also have lots of excitement still in senior school next week as House Athletics takes full flight. And if you're wondering what to do in those school holidays, please remember our boarding house still has plenty of availability over the school holiday period. If your children would like to engage in short stays or casual boarding over the school holiday period and beyond. We hope you enjoy a very happy Easter and wonderful term break. See you soon.